Hi, I'm Michelle Edwards with Ferro Technologies, and today we're going to learn more about the Vantage Tracker and the Ion Tracker. I'll be your personal tour guide as we talk more in depth about the functionality of the trackers, best practices, and how you're going to be using it in your measurement environment. In this video, we're going to see how to use the Ferro Laser Tracker in order to level a product to gravity. In this case, we're going to look at this plate, and we have three feet on the plate, and we're going to use the adjustable feet in order to capture a level plane to gravity and then adjust this plate to equal that level plane to gravity. We're going to begin in the software. From the device menu, select measure level. At this point, you can choose to either have the level plane calculated at the center of the tracker's head or from an elevation that you select by measuring a point. We're going to select yes in order to measure a point and have level come closer to the object that we're measuring. Now that we've begun the measure level command, the tracker will spin around, checking quadrants and using its precision level in order to capture the level plane to gravity. This should take about two minutes. Once the tracker completes the measurement of measure level, then it will look to the SMR in its home position and prompt you to measure that point near the surface you're trying to level. We'll capture the SMR right now, bring it down to our granite surface, and measure a point. At this point, we'll bring up a DRO, or digital readout, that references our level plane to gravity. As we move the SMR around, we'll see the numbers vary relative to gravity. We can bring up the digital readout by selecting level plane from the feature tree and the letter D on the keyboard. You can choose whether or not to compensate for the diameter of the probe in this window. We're going to choose no. Now our goal on this plate is to get all three legs even with each other. So if we hover above this leg in the back here and assume that this is the one that we cannot adjust, uh, we're looking for a number of uh, 2.472 in order to make the others equal to this one in height. So if I come to the front one, I can see it's at 2.476. I'll adjust. to get to 2.472. So now we'll go over to this last leg. and 7-2. Now since we adjusted the other legs, the first leg may have changed a little bit, so we're going to come back over and double check. We're at 0.472 is at 724. So now we've made this plate level to gravity. We captured the gravity using the laser tracker and we're ready to install the part completely. 